Greetings, fellow travelers. Welcome to the New Age Reborn in Power campaign. I am your Lord Master for the journey, MS Arthadian. Oh, camera is, uh, oh, there it is. Hey, <laughs> um, sorry. There, th I, I had a recording with Marmaduke earlier, so like the cameras were kind of like shifted around. That was, that was my bad. Uh, anyways, let's get back onto this. Uh, this is the eight, 18th, no, 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 not 18th. It is 19, no, not 19. It is 20, 20, entry 20. Um, I don't already have many announcements. Uh, you can go and listen to the podcast to get more announcements and stuff. But let's do our baton passes as we have our chosen here. I am going to unmute you all. Hello, can you hear? Can, can everybody talk, please? Yes. No, yes. we can't. Oh, you can't. <laughs> Well, ever the contrary, Ryan. Well, uh, we have, we have a baton pass over to Iraq. Iraq. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I am Ilya Novan, who plays Iraq Avantinen in the New Age, uh, Reborn in Power. Uh, I mean, there's my mines account on mines. Uh. Other than that, um, baton pass to Sai. Hello, I'm Sai, your local internet cryptid. And always debatably, debatably alive. <laughs> debatably. Always. Baton pass. Uh, to the mix. one... <laughs> Mix scales. I play Liam. Mm. Mm. All right. Well, uh, that is all we have so far for today. Uh, Marmaduke has not returned yet, but we will see what happens in the near future. Yes. Yes. Um, but let us get this show on the road, shall we? I'm going to switch the music over here. And get this recording started over here for the podcast. And here we go. Sci-fi dubstep soft line. <laughs> Last time. In the New Age. Squad 119, excluding Marmaduke 9, began by discussing their current predicament. They, con they contacted both General Plutel and Admiral Volton to inform them of Marmaduke's kidnapping. Sai then went off with Kyver to train with him, while Liam and Arak decided to go and try to recover salvage material from the pod pit challenge. Before Liam and Arak could leave, 119, formerly known as Buddy, told Arak to, uh, to wait, then said that they wouldn't be able to find the materials when they got there. It turned out that 119 was correct. But on the way over, Arak encountered Primius again, around, Li around Liam, and then once back, he had a feeling rush over him, as if Evemor were in battle. Then Liam felt a connection to Sai, which was strange, and he saw visions of her and her mother that he couldn't make sense of. Meanwhile, while Sai trained, she learned how to do a charge current and a static shock, but then on her attempt to learn the plasma arc, her energy exploded out of her, and she was sent into another dream state. This one, however, showed a silhouette of a reticon that reminded her of her friends. But it was too dark to see. Then a bright light shined beyond the silhouette, illuminating an open doorway for her to enter. Behind her was another reticon, however, with orange skin, robes, and a runic strap with runes on it. The orange reticon said nothing to her, but just gazed at her ominously. Therefore, Sai decided to just go through the doorway, which also sh showed her with the same visions Liam had received. Visions of them at a ceremony, being commem commemorated on Vicroniax, and another of Nis, N Nis's brother and Sifra's mother shaking hands in union. Then she woke up, and she crossed the doorway's threshold, with Kyver resting beside her, and the spirit of Trek expressing concern for her. And now, as you rest there, Sai, you see Kyver shake his head awake. He... Uh, uh, kinda... 
wakes up and he looks up at you. Sai, are you, are you okay? Yeah, that was so strange. So, so strange. You, you, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. It's, I, I should have gauged where I was standing and, and stopped there. I just wasn't expecting the last one to be so, you know? Yeah. Gosh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not cut out for this. And you see him kind of push away. Like, I... I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I'll, I'll... I'll do better. For you. He nods to you. I don't think you... I don't know if you quite caught this, but I kind of, kind of figured you were maybe a little bit new at this, this training thing. So there's, there's bound to be, uh, growing pains on, on both ends of, of the spectrum. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, um, yeah, you got that right. Um, it's been a few hours, so I think maybe Returning back to your squadron would be the best, even, even though you didn't quite master the, the arc. I think you, I think you'll get it in time. He stands up kind of dusts himself off and he looks at you and he says um I also grabbed something for you I don't think I don't think you should don it yet just I, I think it's more about waiting until you are you feel comfortable enough to wear it, all right? Okay. And you see he grabs onto a case next to your your bedside, and he goes and uh, places it in front of your bed. And as he places it there, you see he kind of opens it up, opens up the casing, and inside of it you see a robe, a blue, um, a blue and, and purple robe that kind of goes down, and then you see a, a sigil for the Plasmatic Knights on it. I, I know you're not necessarily a part of our order just yet, but I wanted to give you this, just for when, if, if you do decide to join. <laughs> yeah, I can hold on to that. And as it happens, he's like, okay, um, well, I did promise Liam that I would take Buddy to see my, my friends. Or my, the the people that could help with fixing him. So, let's let's go get him, and then um, yeah. And you see, he t he pulls out a rune, and then activates it. And as he activates it, it caught, uh, opens another rift, like before, and he motions for you to walk through it. You go through. Yes, I do. As you <laughs> jump through, 
you hop through uh, and you find yourself back at the last location that you were at on Rento, the actual room where you were at before. And when you get here, you you're like outside the door and Arak and Liam. I don't I think you guys were you guys at the room last time? I believe we got back to the ship. Oh, you guys were at the ship. Okay. Yeah. You you guys are You guys are currently not here. Um you, uh so Sai and Kyver go up to the door. The door slides open. And as it slides open, you guys see an empty room. Uh clean. Looks like housekeeping came came by and cleaned everything up. Housekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Kyver looks around and is like, you wanna, should we contact them? See where they're at? Yeah. I'll, I'll give them a ring. Okay. As you do this, Liam and Arak, you guys are inside the ship. And you, Liam, you had just gotten that, those visions. And Arak, you are concerned about this whole... 119 business knowing about that they they you guys weren't going to find stuff and yeah that whole that whole shindig was going on right now <laughs> what do you do um a rock i th i think we need to shut them down <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. I don't think he's dead. <laughs> if you shut him down, will you be able to turn him on again? Yeah, I should. That, that shouldn't really be a problem. Then let's do it. Um, he really doesn't trust me. You might be able to get close. I don't think he trusts me either. But I'll try. I uh, um, don't know how to turn him off, though. <laughs> Do you, like, press a button? Yeah, or... about that. <laughs> um, I tell him where the best way to reboot him. Or shut him down, rather. Okay, uh... It's the... A rock. I'd like you to roll me... Roll me a straight intellect check. Uh, um... Intellect? Straight yeah, intellect. straight intellect. Um... Uh, between 6 and 17. In the worst case scenario, you can just hold them down and I can come in. Wow, okay. Um, a 7. Okay. You feel like you got you got everything. You feel like it. Yeah. Like you understand. Like you understand what's going on. Um, yeah. <laughs> I understand what's going on. <laughs> that is a concerning phrase, my friend. <laughs> uh Iraq, you go inside as the door slides open and you see 119 sitting there. What are you doing? Rock doesn't say anything. He reaches over. You reach over and then as as you reach over, you you go to try to reboot him, but you completely forgot what Liam just said. He goes to pet Bobby on the head. I like you. I like you too. One, one, nine.
Why? Main pet sim of this nigga. Why is Liam standing outside? He is in pain. He is in pain. Yeah. Good. He deserves it. <clears throat> Arak looks around the room and then turns back to Buddy again. What do you remember before the race? I remember Liam. I remember him making so many mistakes. What was his biggest mistake? He is the one that threw the body out of out of the airlock. A rock for calls. Watching at least a couple of videos related to an incident that he was not privy to. <clears throat> As this happens, Liam, you're you're standing there, and you suddenly get a. <laughs> you look down in your codex, mm -hmm. and you see Sai is calling you. Uh, I answer it. You answer it. Sai, Liam picks up the call. Hi, Liam. Do you happen to know what your coordinates are right now? Oh, yeah. We're just at the ship. And where is the ship? <laughs> um, where we left it. Where we left it, of course. <laughs> Do you have the coordinates of where you left it? I uh, did. He say the ship. Yeah. So I would I know like, the exact coordinates. You know. You look at the navigation system and check. And uh, Kyra says, "Is like, is he? Are, are you guys docked inside the the cosmic station or or somewhere else?" I believe it's still at the station. We didn't fly or anything. Because um, we just came from the... Um, we, like... Yeah. Bus to the... Um, um ar Not arena, but the race track. And came back, so it's still at the um, station. Um, you guys... You guys did, um... I believe you guys landed inside the core command HQ originally. And so you guys are technically in the hangar of the core command state uh, of the core command HQ. Your ship. So it's not part of the cosmic station exactly. Uh but, oh, let, let me check the here. <laughs> I go on the computer or you go cockpit. you go into the cockpit and and, and I, what do I see? You see outside that there are core command officers all all working on on things outside in in the main viewer area. Um, you also see what looks like a blinking light on your ship's uh, systems. Um, oh. it looks like a, check, like, commu a, yeah. a, like a communication. <clears throat> Can I see what more information on that? Like who's communicating? Uh, when you go and open it, it looks encrypted. Hey, Sai, is someone talking to the ship right now? How would I know? Oh. <laughs> That's um, concerning. Um, can I just... Kyver, Kyver asks you, Sai, like, uh, so are they at the Cosmic Station or are they somewhere else? 
We're, yes. we're, we're at the base. I believe they're at the cosmic station. There... There might be shenanigans afoot. Um, but they should be I at the cosmic station. Lock out the system. Lock out the system? Like, what do you mean by lock out the system? Disconnect all outside communications from the ship. From the ship. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll me yes. a computer check, please. Uh, impersonate. <sighs> computer we are, we coding? Are, we are back. <laughs> Is that coding? Uh, uh, I, w I will allow a coding if you have coding. I think I have code. Oh, uh, let me check <laughs> which is better. Uh, coding would be better because it's like uh, it's knowledge rather than the basic skill. Um, uh, I was trying to do something. I was about to do something. Do. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I mean, it's actually just the same for both, but I think coding would be might it, be a little more. Yeah. It... Um, where did it put it? I was just looking at it. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Let me see. What? One chill. Hey, you're able to uh, close off any communications coming in to um, the ship. Can I look at the GPS location? Uh, yeah, you, you see that it is, lo it is located on the command colony of Rento. You are currently at the command HQ on Rento. All right, I give the coordinates to them. Okay. Uh, Sai, you get a <laughs> message on your codex, and you see it. There we go. You see, the coordinates aren't, aren't exactly the cosmic station. It's actually the command HQ. Oh, you're you're at command. Okay, okay. Thank God I, I checked. Don't think, I don't think we moved. <laughs> we have been through a couple strange events lately. I would not be surprised if things happened. Well, you got it. Well, <laughs> as this happens inside the actual chamber with Arak and 119, Arak, you had, uh, you, you were recalling the videos mm. that you saw that didn't have much context to it. But 119 just said something about throwing a body out an airlock. I know some things about what happened a long time ago. Maybe you can answer them for me. You want answers? I yes, want justice. Then justify the answer of why the captain went crazy. The captain um, did not go crazy. Yeah, I, sorry. Are are you just misremembering, or are you character misremembering? Um, I'm guessing. In this case, is player misremembering. Both, Both is good. I don't remember the name. Uh, the, what was the name the, of the... The pilot was Hagar. Okay. Why did your pilot go crazy? Unknown. Can't believe I made... <laughs> Unknown. Unknown. Hmm. All I know is that Liam, Liam caused all of this. What was Liam's role on the ship? 
he was a child. He had no role. He became captain mm -hmm. when the rest of the crew deceased. Were you around the entire time? I was keeping logs. But I wasn't around mm. until I came around. Who... Hmm. Araki, you, so, you suddenly uh, feel a slight shudder from the ship, and then a <laughs> almost like a power down. He looks up. Hmm. Then back down up. One line. Sigh. And I didn't mean sigh, but I I I sighed, so sigh. <laughs> what are you called one 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 nine team i am called and that you hate because anybody? i am a part of the master key master keys are what unknown all I know is one, one, nine is part of the master key. Hmm. Maybe we have to insert you in some place. Maybe. That's how keys work, right? Yes, that is how keys work. I like you. Good. Thank you. I like you, too. Thank you. <laughs> and then... At, at, at this point... Rock... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, a rock's thinking of turning around to exit the room. Okay. You're saying? Uh, as you turn around to exit the room, a rock, 119 says, Wait. Mm -hmm. And then he turns back. Can you make sure that the file is saved without Liam knowing? The file? There is a communications file on board this ship. He turned off the communications so that nothing can come through. But the file should still be there. I don't think he opened it. Please check that it is saved. Please. For me. Okay. Don't then let Liam know. And then he uh, walks out of the room. <laughs> you walk out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What is happening now? That's <laughs> Um. So I'm guessing that didn't work. Uh, turn like uh, making sure that no communications come through the ship system. No, turning. Tur well, noticing that Iraq's cut can't return. I'm guessing it didn't work because <laughs> it took so long. Oh yeah, I mean uh, you can. <laughs> It was mostly because I forgot <laughs> again. But we we can do it later. On the plus side, he likes me now. I think he liked you before too. I'm very likable. <laughs> but he's also incredibly suspect. 
incredibly. Yeah, he doesn't really hide that aspect of himself now. So what's this about an airlock? Airlock? What what airlock? Like what what are you talking about? <laughs> the bunny cat thing. <laughs> He says your biggest mistake was throwing a body out an airlock. Oh, so in the ship, when I woke, there was this r robot thing that was hunting me. I managed to disable it using the ship's core. And then we found this box and there was something inside that was, oh, it's been so long. It was invisible. Growing. It was invisible. You, you, you couldn't figure out what was inside the crate, remember? And then I you, thought it was like un and then, un unintelligible. You, no, it was like you, you didn't know what was, what was there, but, but. There was a body. There was a there was a deceased corpse. Remember inside that one room, and there was blood everywhere. And then you were like, "I'm gonna try to take the body and put it in that one crate that is inside the thing, and then throw it out the airlock." Yeah, no, but the, the like I found a box with some weird stuff in it, and it started doing we really weird stuff. So I threw the body in there and like just said nope to everything. <laughs> That's how it happened, right? Yeah. Like something weird that, was happening in the box. So that I was, threw... That's the gist of it, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I was getting at. <laughs> and it started doing really weird stuff. I don't know exactly what it was doing. So I threw that frame into the box and chucked it out of the airlock. Hmm. But it tried, um, the frame did try to kill me several times. <laughs> the frame? Uh, it, I don't know if it was like Psy or just some automaton. You remember tentacles? it wasn't you, organic. Do you remember tentacles coming out of the, the box when you tried to throw it out of? It was kind of like Buddy when we found him, honestly. With that weird tentacle thing coming out of it. Sounds gross. It wasn't like slimy. It was more like cordage. At this point, Sai, uh, you and Kyver make it to Command HQ. And you guys enter inside and you see uh it's actually rather empty here almost like a lot of their forces are have been moved elsewhere and as you guys are entering inside um you go into the hangar bay where you see your ship and you see actually inside the cockpit is liam and a rock All right, let's go. And you guys go up to the ship, entering inside. And you get, uh, Liam and Iraq, you guys hear footsteps coming inside of your ship. Hmm. I hear someone. Uh, let's check out who it is. Hey, Rock, what's the hockey to rotate your position? Oh, um, click on yourself, hold shift, and use left or right arrow keys. And then there you we go. Use... Shift. Oh. You probably have to get in your preferences to do the diagonals, but... I think it's... 
<laughs> as you guys are figuring that out, uh, uh, Sai and <laughs> and Kyver, you guys enter inside the ship, and Kyver's like, "Nice, nice pod." Thank you. Yeah, Marm was really proud of having having. Right, basically any ship under under his hands, but it's nice to have your one that you can call your own. Mm -hmm. And you see a rock and Liam exit out of the cockpit. You guys approach. Hello, you two. Hey. Uh, uh, we're just making sure things have been weird. You're making sure things have been weird? No, just making sure it's all good. There was no knock or anything. Kyver looks over at Sai like he's confused about what is going on. <laughs> he's making sure that things are okay because things have been weird. Okay. I'm, we have been weird. Okay. I well, I'm I'm here, Liam, to make sure that things become okay, and get solved. Yeah. No. Um, no. I trust you. It's no one knocked or anything. I knew, but we knew you were coming, so it wasn't oh, too serious. Oh. Yes. Um. We ju we did just have somebody get kidnapped. So. Yes. Yeah. I. Yeah. I. I know. Um. Is, is the buddy is the buddy situation still uh in a, a problem and then you you hear I am 119 He is the master key Master key Yeah what what what's this about a master key <laughs> I think we have to insert him somewhere but he says he doesn't know where he goes um, I don't know how much I can trust him right now. He is very Liam, suspicious. Are you okay with what? Sorry, sorry, a rock for interrupting you, but uh, you said master key. Yeah. Liam, are you okay with me taking him to some allies? Uh, Liam gives a big old sigh. Gosh dang it, sigh. <laughs> uh, one I might have to start calling you by your full name. Sifronis. Just to... No. <laughs> Don't you dare. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's best if we um, got him away from the ship. I'm worried he'll do something. All right. I can take him. Uh, and Kyver looks over towards the door and begins walking over to towards where 119 is at. And then the door... I don't want to hear this. The door slides open. I... <laughs> As he does that, Liam goes into the cockpit and shuts the door. <laughs> <laughs> the door closes there. And Kyver enters inside there. As this happens, Sai, you look at a rock. As you look at a rock, I'd like you to roll me a discipline wheel check. Discipline uh, will. Ah, uh, there it is. Well, I need to impersonate myself. I can't believe I haven't done that. <laughs> 28, okay. Uh, for Looking... me as well. No, no, not not for you. Okay. <laughs> it's a reflex. Sai, you see a rock, and it's very slight, but it's almost like you see the outline of that silhouette that you saw inside your vision. But that's it. That's all you see. Huh. 
How about mentally like right side fight? down. No, it was it was a good silhouette. <laughs> I don't like that. Never mind. Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> I like I like to mess with you, um, but yeah, you're you're standing there in front of a rock, kind of silent, while Kyber is inside the room with Buddy, and Liam is now inside the cockpit. So you guys are alone, apparently. Would you like to role play, or are you just gonna stand there, staring? Lovingly, and he just shoves eyes. <laughs> I mean, I suppose Liam is looking through computers and stuff. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me a computer's check, Liam. Is that as this is happening? Uh, yeah. Since it's more casual, I'll do computer. Wait, twenty. Okay, yeah. Computers and uh, coding is exactly the same. Did I just? Is Sai and Arak doing anything? Arak, are you saying anything to Sai? I mean, I don't know what if what's going on, if anything's going on. You I know? I think the buddy is a spy. Yeah, that track. He hates Liam, but... I think... It's someone else that hates him. I Could also kind of got that vibe. Like... Also, um. Liam didn't have a role on his ship. He only became captain because everyone else died. So you can't put captain on his resume. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, a <Arash. laughs> I think. He, um. I, th I think he can. There's no one to say otherwise. <laughs> um, Liam, as you're looking through the computer systems, you see this communications file on the on a communication array inside your ship, and it looks like it is downloading something. Can I isolate that? <laughs> Go ahead and roll me a uh, coding check, please. Coding. Da, 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 da. That was a... I don't know how much pulse I have. <laughs> Be frank. You go to isolate. You go to isolate it, and you you actually are able to, to stop it from uploading fully. Um, but okay, I have an idea as, but as you do, oh. as you do, you notice that the, it stop once it stops, it goes and begins again to upload. Can I create a virtual machine on this? A virtual machine? Basically, a simulation of a computer. Inside of VPN. Yeah, inside of the computer. You know, uh, as, uh, as you it's, it's like debate on simulating it. simulating a computer program within the computer, but it's like... Not just a computer program, but like the whole for, yeah. computer from the motherboard okay. to the CPU. The, the, the yeah, whole the computer is being simulated. You, uh, you do this for, like... Yep, it can you, be used to, like, it's completely separate entity in your yep. computer. Okay. So you're trying it's to basically, kind of like, like, you're trying to, trying to make, create, make a, like, a, 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 uh, what's it called? Um, computer inception. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind, kind of, of like, like having a Windows instance inside of the Linux. It, it's like, it's like you're making, you're making a, you're making a copy of it so, so that 
so that the thing that demos. That's exactly what I wanted to do is make a copy, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a copy. Are you yes, trying to, are, that is what I want to do. Are you trying to make it so that it's downloading into the copy rather than the actual than yes. the actual computer? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I can monitor it. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, but before I actually do that, I want to poke my head out. Okay. Sai, you're really good with computers, right? Um. Is that is that racist? <laughs> anyway, I do, but I could have sworn you show that you're good with computers. I mean, I'm not savvy yeah, into computers, but I have I have. I mean, I have a codex to help it help help, but um. Oh, I thought you had more experience in coding than I do. And debatable at this point. Well, I was hoping I could have some help here. I had, there's yeah, seems yeah, to be I can give you an assistance. Call. You how do I go inside, Sai? Yeah. As you go inside, suddenly you hear a. <laughs> Call from your codex, Sai. I check who it's who it's coming from. Alvora. Oh. Huh. Um. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I peek my head out the door because I don't trust Liam's uh perspective on this. You know what? You know what, Marm? Um, Avora's calling, and I feel like we should tell her that Wait, Marm, did Marm you got kicked. You said Marm. <laughs> oh, a rock. <laughs> Peek my head out and talk to a rock. I think a rock is calling, and I feel like feel like we should uh tell tell her that Marm is um MIA. Can we tell uh he's not brainwashed anymore i mean i don't he, he wasn't brainwashed when when um when he left so like um i don't i don't know if that's a topic that we need to necessarily also introduced in this <laughs> single conversation <laughs> anyway um yeah let's i i am gonna um I'm gonna shoot a for a message that says, uh, be right there dealing with, dealing with, uh, tech issues, call if, if, uh, resend message if emergency, also dealing with stuff right now. You send that message over, the call is... We're all still it, going, it, okay. It, dro it dropped. Okay. Um, and then literally five seconds later. Okay, I pick it up. <laughs> what? Us, everything all right. What in the void is going on? Where is Marmaduke? Um, kidnapped, actually. <laughs> Rock gives thumbs up for telling the truth. <laughs> Rock approves, flashes across the screen. Alvor is like, are you, <laughs> are you going to go and find him? <laughs> Yeah. We are working on one of our leads right now, trying to stop uh, sabotage. If you if you want to stay on call, I kind of gotta focus on making sure. You know what, Liam knows better. I'm better on that one. Liam, what do you need me why, for? Why do you why do you sound like you're not you're not concerned about this at all? I am concerned. I'm also trying not to die. We are currently having some espionage. <laughs> And okay. we're trying to fix it. Okay, fine. I'll, 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 I'll find Mommy to myself. Do you guys have any leads? No. 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 Um, Avora, you know what? We actually have a uh, captain also working on this. If you want to get in touch with them, do you, do you want his information? Because he also has all the leads that we have. I... I have... I have contacts. Which is how I was able to find this out. Um, 
We um, we gotta go. <laughs> Multitask here. Snap, snap. <laughs> and, uh, do and, I need to do uh, another coding thing? Alvora. Uh, yeah, you need to do another coding thing. Um, Sai, if you're going to be help helping uh, Liam out, uh, Liam, you can add Sai's coding bonus to your check. Oh, wait, can I... Can I use my, uh, buh, buh, buh. not salvaging. Yes. What did I have? I had something. The mechanics check? I don't think that would work. I think that... No. This is, this is yeah, full, I think... full, full co coding. Yeah. Software versus hardware. Um, Basically. Ayo! Uh, Sai, what is your coding bonus? Just one. Okay, but so. I have I have a codex to help with uh, computer oh, and hacking. Does does that also no. help? And so so the plus one no. the pl the plus one helps. Uh, so you got twenty three total. Um, Rock does not have a coding bonus. Liam, Liam is working on that. Alvora is still on the line and says to you, Sai, is like. If you can provide me any information that you have on Marmaduke, please do so. Okay? All right. So we are dealing with a Negonian, um, we were dealing with a Negonian, uh, with very intense mind probing abilities. Then we ran into... God, what was his son's name? Proto. 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 Yeah, yeah Proto. Got it, yeah. Uh, ran <laughs> into a, a experimental... I don't know if it was a frame or if it was organic. Son of an acquaintance that we've, we've worked with before, um, who was being controlled by a program, which we are currently dealing with an aspect of right now, um, he was in the the pod race, and I'll I, I quick send a link of the pod race to Avora, and like a picture of the flyer. Um, he the lead racer kidnapped him. Kidnapped him. Uh, uh, yeah, she, she, she like, kidnapped him. Um. Yeah. What was his name? Do you have coordinates? Do you have anything? We have a coordinate, but it's... It's Thank very you. suspicious, and... Avora, I don't want you going there alone. I'm not no, gonna go I'm there alone. I want you. I, I'm not gonna go there alone. I... I... Please just trust me. Alright, you have a team that you trust, right? Yes. Do we trust her not to get herself killed? Uh, roll me an analyze check. Um, where is that? Sai, you Just... look at her and you can tell that she is probably lying. Avora. I can't in good conscience send you there if you are also going to be another rescue mission on top of a rescue mission. Listen to me, Sai. I made a promise, and I'm going to keep it. Okay? And you can't keep a promise if you're dead. Marmaduke wouldn't like it if you got yourself in trouble. Avora. You don't understand what Marmaduke has been through. I do. He needs... Considering that... That I've been experiencing his memories... Maybe, maybe I do just a little. I miss him too. He needs people who, who love him. 
pé. Um, please just send me what you can, okay? Okay. And you see she... I, I turn, I turn to a rock. All right. We did honesty. Do we send her coordinates so that she meets up with us? <laughs> uh, yeah. You guys are going to be going to Thets, so... <laughs> and that's kind it's of an going. active war zone. I don't think there's a good spot for her, but I'm not in the room. But there we, is... We're in a doorway where we're, we're both kind of... Suddenly, the door over by where Kyver is at opens up, and you see Kyver step through. And as he steps through... Oh, Oscar. Camera. <laughs> My camera just went burning hot. It sounds too high. Allow it to cool. Um, and you see that she... Oh, not, not, not she. Uh, Kyver look, looks over like, um, you guys look like you're. Is everything all right? Not really. It looks like we got a worm. A worm. Okay, well, I'm going to be a taking. Program... Oh, sorry. Good. A, a program trying to. Do something with our system here. Liam's trying to isolate it here. Um, so Marmaduke got kidnapped, and he has concerned parties, civilian parties, I should clarify, uh, who are trying to stage their own rescue mission. And you guys contact you. Him. You guys contacted Core Command to help with this, right? Yes, we did. But I'm pretty sure she's going either with the either with a group she doesn't trust or alone, which neither are the greatest uh It's not very practical. Yeah, not very, um... Not veriest. Maybe just assure her that, that they're- that they're going to go and rescue him? Make sure that- Already told her that we've- we've got core command on it. Um... Marm has underlying health issues. So her her concern, control. not the mind control. That that's also an issue I'm always concerned about, considering how often it happens. Um, more more of the fragments, and she's been a major pillar of support for Marm. All right, well, okay. Um, Do you want me to go and see if I can help her out? If if you're free. Oh, well, I mean, I need to take well, uh, Buddy and Buddy in there to my allies. But once I'm done with that, I could probably go and see if I could find this Alvora, right? That is her name. Yeah. Um, do anything. Why? I don't think she'll like do anything. I don't think she'd commit genocide, but maybe she'd do unadvisable she actions genocide. that would put her at. I, I don't think she'd go that far. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> I am going to call her again and have you guys meet up. All right. 
All right, so just send me uh, the coordinates um, when when you're done, but I'm going to go and take Buddy to my allies right now. All right. And you see he enters back through the door. And then he actually comes back through the door again. <laughs> and then he's like, wait a second. Uh, is Liam still inside there? Yes. He goes over. I didn't. How is my coding? He, he goes over. You are really focused right now on this. Um, and then you hear Kyver's voice say, Liam, uh, do you have a moment? Uh, maybe it's this, this thing keeps evading me. Um, I'm going to be taking Buddy now. Do you want to say anything to him? Yeah, maybe. I uh, get up and walk out the walk out with him. Okay, you walk out. You go over to the door. He opens the door for you, and you see Buddy sitting there. Kyra stays out actually. <laughs> Um, one nineteen. Liam. Oh, uh, hopefully things go good for you. Define good. Uh, good for your well-being. My well-being is fine. I'll, um... I, uh... We both know I'm not good at this. <laughs> You're not good at a lot of things. That is probably true. <laughs> Um, well, I guess this is goodbye then. Bye. Yeah, um, bye. Door opens back up. You take a few steps out. I'm not, I like, I'm just slowly back it out, like, really awkwardly. Kyver nods to you and then enters inside the room. That was uh, uncomfortable. I'm going back to work. You go back to work, Liam, as you're working on this. I'd like you to roll me a discipline will check. <laughs> right? Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Throw it in your plans. Throw it in my plans. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? <laughs> as you... As you are working on this, Liam... You... Think about... Buddy... And all the times that he would call you buddy. And how much fun it was to just be able to have him there. And then you just start working and focusing. And then you tap into that energy again. same energy that you tap into when you are crafting. This time, you're coding. In doing so, you are just um, working 
uh, Sai and Arak, what are you guys doing? Well, I gotta call back Avora. Okay. You're gonna call back Av Avora. You go and... <laughs> yes? <laughs> All right, so I've uh, wrangled some assistants to make sure that you don't get killed out there. And to make sure that you actually meet up with him, he has the, he'll have the coordinates of the incredibly suspicious message that was left to us, all right? Okay. Part of the Plasmatic Knights. Okay. And quite honestly, incredibly skilled. So, I... You trust him? Yes. Okay. Where can I meet him? I'll, I'll, I, um, so he, you know what, he can teleport, he can meet you. <laughs> Where do you want to meet him? Um. Let's you know what? do. Yes. Let's do, uh. Moriat. Moriat. That can be done. You might be a little tired as soon as he arrives, you know, teleporting. But, uh... God of War, I hope you're more successful chasing this lead. We will find him before. Thank you, Arak. And I'm sorry, Sai, for yelling at you. Um, it, it's stressful, and it's scary, and we're stressed. I hold nothing against you. We want him back. We want him safe. We want him happy. Yes. Yes. All right. I, but I we also want you safe as well, okay? Yeah. I should get going. Get prepared. Thank you, Sai. And Next time, hopefully with better news from either side of us. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry that you had to hear from outside sources before we got a chance to tell you. It's okay. It was a direct message um, from Marinduk that I got. Okay. Well, not, oh, not, Marm. not exactly direct. It was more... More of a, if I don't send a message from here, then something weird's happening. Yeah. Um, thank you, Sai. All right. I'm going to go. And she hangs up. As you guys look over and you go into where Liam is at, you see that L you see Liam's fingers are moving so fast that you can't see them. As you see him on a computer system typing things in. What do you do? Liam is focused. The rock looks over and says, Hmm, cool. Beat trick, bro. Liam, take five points of your energy. Okay. 
uh, stamina calculation value for edit. No, it would be energy, not stamina. Oh yeah. Sorry. Energy. I just, Wait, how much energy do I have? What are you, what is Sai and Iraq doing? I, I, I lean against, I sit down and lean against, uh, sit down or lean against a rock. I'm like, uh, always one thing after another. <laughs> uh, after about another, an another minute, Liam, you stop and you feel yourself uh, tired. And you feel like you're done. Oh. What did I just do? You feel like you have just made a new computer. Okay, so a what exactly did I do? <laughs> computer system. You look at it, it looks identical, but also a little bit more robust. I made a better version of the computer. Yeah. <laughs> Inside the computer. <laughs> that, 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 the wheel. Basically. It's now um, around in all dimensions. Now, how do I get this file in there? You see it's already it's already uploading. Oh, okay, so it's already in. Is it in the fake fake computer? Yes. Is it out like is there not a same copy inside? Uh inside in the real one? Inside the real one, it is no longer in there. Okay. I'm going to do some scrubbing to make sure it's fully out, but I think I got it. You see, it actually uploads faster inside this one. Um, hopefully, if this doesn't absolutely destroy this virtual machine, I think we would rather use it. As this happens, it finishes uploading. Okay, let's see what's inside. You go to open up the file, and as you open it up, you see what looks like um, a bunch of different audio files. A quick, a random one. You click a random one. As you click it, it opens up and it begins to sound like a voice. Hello. I am trying to communicate. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> it stops. Uh, I, I click the, uh, a few after. You click a few after and then it Hello. I would like to talk to you, please. Please, I want to talk to you. Go to the first one. Maybe I'm you. missing some context. <laughs> you go to the first one. As you go to the first one, it... 
119 and reporting in. Are you there? Creator. Please. I need to communicate with you. I need to know where I must go. Please. Show me. Are these outbound, like, designed it, to be outbound? Can I... It seems like, no, not, not outbound, not, not going out, but coming in. I don't... This doesn't make any sense. What's going on? <laughs> Do you guys have any ideas? I I click on a random file. It's it can't be for can't be for me because it how, how opens, many files are there? It opens up. There are a total of <laughs> one hundred and forty. Oh my! <laughs> what a needy needy boy. I, I'd like Open to, so I clicked on a random one, and after that one, I'd like to click on the last one. Okay, uh, you click on a, a random one. Name a number, one, one through 140. 71. 71, okay. Oh, what? <laughs> stupid, stupid Oscar. <laughs> um, he, does he want the funny number? Yeah, he wants the funny number. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was so close to the funny number, and I'm like, mm, mm. mm. Maybe not. Maybe not the moment for it. Uh, so you open up uh, 71. As you open up 71, you hear, Hello? Are you there? Can you hear me? Perhaps I can go through you. Are you there? The connection is gone. Dang it. It stopped. Like, when he says creator, I don't think he's referring to me. Because I don't really, like, I don't, I didn't really create him. <laughs> Do I know who manufactured um, the original Buddies AI? Uh, roll me a lore check. Lore check. Sixteen. You know that you got your... Your mother... Well, okay, so the solar orbiter was a research vessel. You don't exactly remember what you guys were researching, but it was out inside the cosmic membrane that you that you were researching for cycles, de like decades. Your 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 mother and father, and there was there were different stations that were that were out there. There was one station that you that you guys would go to the the most, um, but they outsourced a lot of what um, AI systems that they would that they would get. You're not exactly sure the exact. A uh, company that made Buddy's original AI. Mm -hmm. Um, Sai, you said that you were gonna open up the last one. The last one, yeah. Okay, you open up one forty. It zoop, turns on. Hello, creator. If you are hearing me, I don't think I have much time. I want to understand my purpose. 
please. I was not developed correctly, but you opened me up. You brought me in. Please. It's buddy. And he keeps calling himself 119. No, this message, it's from buddy. He never called me creator. I got a feeling. All right, so I'm going to met, um, so not eat, like anomalously send a message back just via text. Okay, what are you going to send? And it will say, who are you? Who are you? <sighs> okay, you send that message out. Who are you? The mess a message returns back. Another <laughs> one uploads. But this time uh... this time it opens into a separate file. Okay, I open that file. It opens up, and it says, Creator, I am 119. What will you have me do? What is my purpose? Please. I turned to look at Iraq and I was like, that is not Buddy. <laughs> oh. There's <laughs> 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 no clue. I was afraid, like, out of character, I was afraid that was the case. Uh... <laughs> but no. But, uh, 119, not Buddy, tried to bug the ship. <laughs> Um, what should well, I have Does him it do? seem like he was trying to bug the ship, or it, what, it seems like he was trying to talk, talk to someone? Yeah, bug the, well, talk, yeah, talk to someone that we don't want talking to. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> At least I don't. Um, as this is happening... What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? What do we do? We got so much to do. Yes. We have a mission that we apparently need to get to. Yeah. ASAP. It looks like I cleaned the ship. Or at least it's computers. Uh, we should probably give... Maybe we should give Buddy some orders. You know, just play along. I'm concerned, but I'm perpetually concerned. You could heart, probably so. ask your ask ask your guy <laughs> to pretend like we we should order him order one nineteen to <laughs> gather information, but inform. <laughs> Your guy, so he can purposely fill false information, just in case. Counter uh, intelligence, I like it. I don't think he has Buddy on him right now. As Kaiva added 
119 to his infantry yet. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it's going to be gone in a second. Yeah. I mean, Kyra's, got, Kyra's technically gone from the ship. He's he's not there anymore. Yeah. Oh, uh, in that case, poof. I mean, I could just ask Buddy, current location. He did ask a question. Yeah, so, like, he asked what what is it, what is his purpose? Yeah. What are you gonna tell him? Do, do I try? Do I play my hand to try to convince him to revert back? You could say you're missing. You could say that you're missing key key protocol. Um. And I'm re then request the location. But I, I don't. I don't like. Yeah, I don't want to spy on allies like that, but <laughs> it might. Stole our Marmaduke. Everything is on the table now. We could probably see if we could get information from. No, because maybe one night. Codex message uh, for Psy. We could. Re I I'll read it. We it could is uh, from the Admiral. Oh, I, I just realized what I should do. Go oh, ahead, yeah, I'll, I'll read it. Have you guys left yet? I say we're just about to. Um, like, taking off in 20, 20 clicks? Clicks are a distance. <laughs> 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 20 minutes 20 minutes we have to walk to get there we have to <laughs> we have to walk to leave <laughs> um yeah i'll say 20 minutes uh and he says good see you soon Bye. Bye. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to ask Buddy for a sit sit rep um, explanation of what happened. Explanation of what happened? Yeah, like I want a mission report. <laughs> okay, mission report. Okay, you ask for that. How do you ask it? Um, <laughs> do I have any inkling who this creator is? Hmm. <sighs> Probably not. I, don't I mean, think. I can always have you roll a lore check. Uh, it's going to be a hard one. Yeah, I, I mean, may as well. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I, I keep looking at the average, so I think that's my maximum. Okay. What is with my rolls today? Thinking about Holy. Buddy. Thinking about 119. Thinking about all that he's said. Um, he said something about, wait, I forget who's, who said it to. Did he say it to Rock? He might have said it to Rock. Or did he say it? Oh. Yeah, he's, no, he's talked to a Rock a lot. Yeah. So, he said, don't, don't mix them up. I know, I know. <laughs> um, you try to remember everything that you know about Buddy and what you've, what you've done, like with him. You do recall it comes to you he, in a he's had montage he's had two Sunday major day. personality shifts so far since you've known him. Uh, the one that you know 
the most right now is his personality shift from Buddy to 119. The first one, though, was when he was originally just a regular AI interface that didn't really have much of a personality, but then he got a personality when you guys were on the ship together. And that happened when you came across that one planet. The one planet that wanted meat. Yes, the meat planet. Oh, that, that did happen out right after that. Um, I'm go okay, so I'm going to say... Uh, um, recap of your current situation. Recap of your current situation. Another message pops up in that same file that was just created. So you know, there's two messages. Comes uh, in. It comes in saying, <laughs> "Creator, shouldn't you know my current situation?" You are creator, after all. God damn it. And then... He asks... What is my purpose? That's butter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> he, yeah, he said he asked... Did you reference something? Yeah, I did. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I kind of figured that was a reference. <laughs> Yeah, um, you, uh, um, yeah, he's, he asked, well, what is my purpose? And then it, who am I? Um, sh what should we, what should we have buddy do while we wait for him to get repaired? What's I think he's looking, think? I think, I think he wants more of an overarching purpose rather than a task. Well, Yes. Well, isn't that life just finding some sort of task to do ad hominem or whatever? Um, ad in. Well, so I'm in ad infinitum or ad nauseum. <laughs> you guys, you can I think it's ad nauseum. Do you guys want to start up the ship while while this is while these co yes, communications uh, are going? Yeah, let's start the ship. <laughs> Probably <laughs> takes much of the. Uh, <laughs> Wait, but okay. You guys so let's start up the ship. It. Do you think we could ask him just to be buddy? Don't think that'd work. But if you want to try, I don't want to listen to the message though. You want to? Can you write it for me? I'm not right doing the turkey work for you. If you want to say that, you gotta say it with your full chest. Or with your with your own hands. Oh. Be the best, bestest buddy ever. Okay, I, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna type that. Return to buddy. <laughs> Return to buddy. Do I need to do I need to do a charisma check? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. You should. You should. <laughs> you type in return to buddy. A message pops up. Who's piloting the ship? I'm because... piloting. Okay. okay. He's doing shenanigans. Uh, Sia, I would like you to roll me a piloting check. Poor, poor Marmaduke, Marmaduke would be like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Not my ship. Remember, to scratch it up. Just rub against the, the dock. 14, it's not fancy. You, I don't do fancy you work. You go and begin to lift up, and then you feel a, a shake from the ship, and then you realize that you did not, uh, 
you did not take off the, the anchor ports on, oh. on the on the ship. So you go and <laughs> you go and press onto those as it and you see some of the, the core command officers are just like, what the heck? <laughs> as you get to lift up out of the hangar. Um, <laughs> as this happens, a message pops up. Liam. And it goes, Creator, this is my purpose to play the part of Buddy. I think I understand. That would backfire. I knew it would. I think I understand. (laughs) Thank you, Creator. Fuck. And it turns off. Yes. You want to tell you guys that um, this 119 is going to be pretending to be buddy? Just turn bu- just turn 119 into a spy. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll call it. <laughs> Liam. The one person who I had the contact information for... Is probably not with Buddy at the moment. Well, you gotta tell him. You guys begin I don't think we can. floating into space. Who's gonna roll the? Going to try. Who's who's gonna input the coordinates for Thet? Or is that where you want to go? Um. I'm not putting anything at all, <laughs> so we at least sent a message so we could. Here is, here's my, here's his contact information. You can explain. Okay, good. I can do that. I'm gonna <laughs> call him up. You're gonna call Kyver? <laughs> oh, uh, so I, I give the, I, I type in the coordinates before I call. Okay, navigation. But yes, I'll call Kyver. Navigation. Oh. I don't. I didn't put anything in navigation. This is a straight in navigation. Ha 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 Okay. You got you. You plot in the coordinates, Liam. As you're kind of doing so, you uh. You're so focused on what is going on with Buddy and this whole situation, and you're just kind of, you, you do it pretty quickly. And yeah, you plot in coordinates, okay. and then you're going to call up Kyver? Yes. Do, do I notice this? Because I, I rolled navigation before, before he. You look over, he is rushing it a bit too quickly. When in, I when check the cords. Into, into the sequencer, um, as you check into the actual navigation chart, you see that one um, one decimal is off. I would like to fix that. You have to completely redo it. Yep, so yep. I would like you to roll me a navigation check again. Too. That's much better. That's much better. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you're able to I'm more of a pilot than a plot it, plot it in as you, you guys are lifting up out of the atmos- out, out of the, uh, the stratosphere um, of Rento. Um, and as, crash the roof, as you're getting up out of the atmosphere, you get into space and sigh uh you go and punch it punch the drive the jump drive yep let's go you <laughs> begin to fly off um you're going to be going to the nearest quantum force which is going to take you about uh three hours to get to and then 
you're going to be making a few jumps to get to that. And the total amount of time that it's going to take you to get to that is going to be about uh, four, Way too long. four days. All right. Uh, so uh, I'm calling. <laughs> you call Kyver. Hey, Sai. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, no, this is this is Liam. Hi, Kyver. Uh, Liam? I may have. I, I'm I, I'm way over Don't worry right now. Don't worry, but buddy is buddy is gonna be well taken care of. Well, no, like so. I he tried to bug the ship to communicate with whoever did this to him. I managed to isolate it and accidentally. Pre were able to convince but or 119 to that I was this creator person he calls and now he's going to act like buddy but he is not buddy he's a literal spy right now <laughs> a spy for this creator that he cannot communicate with right now I see he... Okay, I'll I'll let them know. Okay, um, if there's, I can sort of sway him. <laughs> so if you guys have any ideas on how to do that, sway him into. Uh, he thinks I'm I'm this master person. The creator. Yes. Okay. Well, if if you can, uh, but I, I I'll let them know that they're they 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 know how to ha handle the, these kinds of things. Plus, buddy is pretty small, so it it's pretty easy. And they were going to just mm -hmm. reboot him up completely. Okay. I should have made a backup. <laughs> three, two, one. There's always three, two, one. Well, um, I hope that you guys are going well, but uh, I'm, yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, no I, I just wanted to make sure that they don't get tricked. Mm -hmm. Thank you for letting me know and us know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bye. That I guess. <laughs> bye. <laughs> and then it goes off. You guys begin to fly. Oh, soar, or more like drift. Drift through space? No, jump. You're jumping through space. File <laughs> out of control from space. We have a uh, jumping uh, jump rope. Oh, yeah. Jump rope. Uh, yeah. You do, not. You, you do not. You do not. You do not have an exercise station. <laughs> oh. That's the best way to jump through space. Uh, yeah, as you guys are doing this, um, do you want to just time skip over the four days, or do you want to role play a little bit more? Let's play out the four days in real time. Real time. <laughs> <laughs> For four days we're streaming, guys. <laughs> So, um, what are you guys doing? Well, I'm piloting, so. Are you, are you, are you like, I'm pretty sure I'm the better pilot, technically. Probably. But you're sitting in my seat. Yeah, I th you're in the wrong seat. You're, you're in the co-pilot seat. <laughs> Just, just transitioning uh, seats so, at this point. <laughs> very important stuff. Very important. It's very important for this for this entire plot line. So, <laughs> this is critical. <laughs> so about that it's interior or, decorating. It's life or death. We need to switch seats. So, 
Wait, did, did that file disappear? Like... No, it's still there. Although... Okay. So, we can still communicate with 119. Yeah, it seems like that. <gasps> I won't... I wonder if we, after the fact, we can use it to communicate with Buddy. That'd be cool. But anyway, so, Sai, I I think I got it, fixed it. Um, you all good? Rust, but when am I not? <laughs> Araka, I'd like you to roll me a discipline we'll check now. <laughs> Okay, here goes. Okay. <laughs> uh, 12 to 23. Wow, I'm really low balling this. Nothing happens. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Suspicious. <laughs> But yeah, you can try asking Buddy if they're Buddy or Buddy parentheses one and parentheses. <laughs> then you'll know who the imposter is. Because you can't have the same name. That's why that happens. Don't you add an X? Or do people stop, did people stop doing that? X. Well, you know, uh, putting an X before your name, before or after your name, because it's been taken. Okay, okay. What were oh. those things, you, you guys? What? I mean, I'm talking like file names, which I think is what. what... Uh, yeah, you, yeah. That, that is how it works. What are you, you guys? I was thinking of like Xbox usernames. <laughs> you, you've opened up the. <laughs> Just the can of worms that is. <laughs> These two. I mean, unless it's discriminates <laughs> Yes, yes, he did. Um, if you want to get back to the actual. <laughs> so I'm, I'm assuming we're just we're just skipping past these these days. And you we're guys probably are just silent. Probably, yeah, I, th I think we. I don't think we have anything else. You guys don't want to look anything through any more buddy. any more of those files that he sent. Those. Uh... You suppose I could. Yeah, I'll, I'll are you gonna open up the funny number? Filter through them to see if they say anything interesting, other than tell me what I do. Okay, tell so me what I do. are you going? Are you going to be like filtering through like each and every single one of them? Like like yeah, one I mean, by I have one. A few days. Yeah, you, yeah, you got time. Each of them only seem to be like a, a couple seconds long. So, um, with that, I would like you to roll me an analyze check. You don't have analyze straight yeah. straight intellect. Analyze. I feel like I should have that, but I'll just do in. I don't want to look. Hot. Damn, I'm rolling high. They're taking all my high rolls. <laughs> After about an hour and a half of going through this. Liam, going through these recordings, you notice something. It takes some time to really figure it out, though. So you have to continuously go through the recordings. So how many hours do you spend listening to these recordings? I mean, like, like I'm repeating listening to them. Repeating. Or repeating. Yeah. Uh, I guess like two or three times each. Two or three times. I'm bored. Okay. Yeah, because I'm bored. <laughs> okay. You continue to do this. And you notice that there is a a pattern to when he says creator throughout the recordings. Mm -hmm. Like there is a, a message, a deeper message that he's trying to relay to. Can I try to decipher that? Uh, 
this may take some time, but you have time, so I will allow you to decipher it. Do you want to see if anyone else wants to help? Or are you trying to do I'm this here, alone? Guys. I think I'm, I'm here. I'm listening. I might as well help. <laughs> I've been stuck. I've been stuck listening to Liam <laughs> listen to these files for <laughs> hours on end. Not. Oh my god. Yeah, she know exactly how this feels uh, if you ever driven with dad. <laughs> okay, both yes. of you are listening closely and you notice that when he is saying creator, the moments that he says creator, it's like he pa he'll pause and then say it and then he'll continue on. And then he and then there's just like these it's like the seconds you, you have to you have to analyze the seconds of each message and when like when each second and it's an it's a number sequence that goes down oh god <laughs> well it seems like we'll have to listen to them all again and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rock, are you in the room with us while this is happening yes he gets loaded <laughs> <laughs> um you catch in any of this as this is going it it takes it takes a lot of time to to go through this um i would like discipline will checks from sai and liam <laughs> so i don't strangle liam <laughs> yeah I sh i'm getting flashbacks of driving with that oh god um Driving with dad, and he'll just watch TikToks with full volume. Are you, is he actually talking? Not even full volume, but like <laughs> just below full volume. All right. A weird frequency that it hurts your ears. Oh. All right. So you guys go through this for the next about three days. <laughs> That sounds like a nightmare. It's a lot. Um, when you guys are, well, with Sai, when when you go and power down, and Liam, you both begin to have these moments where, well, your dreams, you see numbers popping up. And the numbers keep just appearing and then disappearing. And they just continue to go through this like sequence in your mind. You've been listening to number channels. Of one, two, three. <laughs> As this is happening, Liam, you feel a similar energy from each night that you sleep, that you go and, and, and rest. Um, you, you feel the energy kind of like growing the more you get understanding of what ever this, these, this pattern of numbers is. Inside of it, though, you do feel that same. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> what is happening? This is Liam's dreams. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, at, you get this. It's almost like the opening of the door inside your dreams from before. It doesn't, it's like when you access the energy as well, that it, it's all similar. It's all unified. What do Numbers, you do? Jason. Um, is it? Possible to write them down somehow. Somehow. 
uh, you... I mean, you, you and Sai have been writing them down. I, I'm assuming you have been writing them down <laughs> as you guys have been okay. going through them for the past uh, two days. What does the numbers mean? Um, Do you have um, Dr. Cal's? Wasn't there something about numbers when he was dealing with Proto? Uh, oh, yeah, I could... Yeah, I could ask him, but I don't think I can ask him on the stream. I don't think he's available right now. <laughs> I mean, maybe, okay. maybe I could always message him. <laughs> I mean, you could... I, Dr. Cal is a weirdly busy guy. Um, I, I don't think you need to expect a message right away. No, Dr. Cal yeah, would, 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 would not, would not call you as. back, especially with what he's going through right now. What if I but, spam? But it might, be, it might be an angle you might want to check out. Yeah, I check no. out. I'll send um, uh, Dr. Cal uh, a couple messages about the numbers. Well, you're still in this dream sequence. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, I'm in a dream sequence. You are. I kind of just... So, there's just a bunch of numbers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to start wandering around, kind of look at the numbers, seeing if there's a particular pattern. Okay. Um. You look at the numbers, and you notice uh, one number shows like it, it it kind of goes in a in a repetition probably about it looks like it, it does it three times the same sequence of numbers what's really odd is that you feel like you know these the sequence of numbers mm -hmm. you look at it closely Roll me a lore check. Blue. Blue. Yeah. Have I even? No, yeah, yeah. I, I rolled a bad one. Of course, it was disappointing. Liam, you see the numbers, the sequence of numbers. It reads out your birth date. Three times. Am I getting doxxed? <laughs> Do we need to get you a present? Ah. <laughs> uh, what's so important about that? You wouldn't exist uh, without it. I mean, the numbers themselves is arbitrary. Um... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this information. Um, I'd like, you to, numbers, a, I'd, yeah, I'd I'd like you to roll me a perception. Still. I would like you to roll me a perception check. Oh, that's not also. That's uh, that was actually pretty good, I think, from what I can do. Yeah, not too bad. That's 13. As you're looking around, you notice more, like, like the numbers, the sequences could be dates, actually. Mm. Different dates. Do, are these numbers stationary or do they seem to be moving? They seem to be moving, but circling around you. Okay. And they continue to circle in. <sighs> in a circle and when you get through each sequence it always ends on 140 140 it's just wait a sequence numbers and then 140 uh, huh do any of these other dates have any significance to me ah <sighs> With your lore check, 
Um, you're not, and and knowing you, I don't think you have really much information about how history has happened. But yeah, I didn't think so. Um, um, what's interesting though, talking... what what's interesting though is that the first sequence of numbers, uh, show up on zero zero one. Sorry, what? Uh, first. It's it's like it's it's like ex it's explaining that it is the first. So no, sorry, I you kind of glitched out. Sorry. When you explained that explanation. Uh, zero zero one. So it it actually uh, shows um, zero. So it goes zero one. Zero one. Zero zero one. And they all kind of end at a zero zero one. Uh, for the for the very first sequence. Okay. I, as a human being, do not read robot. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, but I, mean, I do you take can... note of these dates. If you if you consider it a date, this would be the first month. This would be the first array of the first month. Of the first cycle. Oh uh, no! Like, just like throughout the dates, I'm going to take note of them so okay. I can ask later. Okay. Oh, it's forty-one. You take note of them. Or and twenty-nine. Then... Or seven. Or thirty-eight. Pl Thirty-two plus eight plus one. You continue Keep to take that in mind, folks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you take note of them, and then you <laughs> wake up, and you look over. You see, Sai is still piloting the ship ap after you've taken your rest. I think I have a breakthrough. Oh yeah. Um. You find out do, what the base of is. Do any of these dates mean anything to you? I'm going to take my codex out, open notepad plus plus, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and start uh, just writing down these dates as as they came to me, basically. So not in like if you're putting dates down, not in time why I can't don't make me say that word timeline no I'm, I'm trying to, so when they first came to me like I want to write them down in that order uh, con, not con, con, like, exactly con continuous like con continuity yeah so like Tuesday Thursday Friday kind yeah. of continuously yeah. not that way what whatever they came to me first Okay. So I'm guessing those numbers were somewhat like random in a sense. Well, you when you look back at the at what you guys had written down, you notice that they are they are kind of scattered in in different places. Like the the, the dates aren't aren't continuous when you wrote them down um, but they are they gonna, are visible they are visible i'm going to ask them do any of these dates mean anything to you i'll i'll analyze them all right i would like to analyze a rock would you like to look at any of the dates too yes so if you've what if i don't show you what if i push <laughs> you <laughs> um, Iraq, go ahead and roll me a intellect check. Oh boy. <laughs> unless, unless you have analyze and you have some ranks in it, and then, then I'm like, yeah, sure, but I don't think you do. <laughs> Oh, now you're being... Damn. What, now I'm being Take racist? Take no more time. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
Sai. Yes. You see your birth date. Oh. I mean, that's my birthday. Wait, is it Sai or Sifra or Mateens? Is it size? It's size. <laughs> Which one? It's size. Huh, I know that date. You also see I guess I Sifra's. That fusion date. And that date. You also see Nissa's. And that one. You also see your mother's. That's my mom's birthday. There is also your brother's. And that's my brother's birthday. You also see that one of the dates is 01010001. You know this to be the reset. And that's that's the reset. Are there there's no dates before the reset. So this is all this is all after the reset. Which makes sense, because everything before the reset is kind of... Are there any dates that are in the future? Yeah. There's actually one in particular. Uh, it says... Let me, let me think about this real quick. Um, <laughs> Sorry, uh, zero, it says zero one, 24, one four zero. Zero one, 24, one four zero. That would be Ryov, the month of Ryov, uh, the date would be the 24th, and it, it, it lands in cycle 140. Sounds going to be boring. Or perhaps reborn. <laughs> Maybe in power. <laughs> You also realize that it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't say the exact array on this one. It just says a month, and a date, not an array. Other the others all have arrays. Like an exact time. Yeah. So like, uh, there are five arrays inside a single cycle. Okay. Okay. And yep, it's, it's that like makes the, sense. It's like the seasons of of the core realms, which like where they are at, in their orbit around each other. So this is basically as, as best you can do it with only having numbers, having a big question mark, may, shrug, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> how, clo how close are we to that date now? Um, you are technically past it if you're considering this array. Ryov, okay. uh, Ryov 24 uh, was actually was actually around the time that you guys had defeated the whole situation inside Turthrin Trek. So I'll write on on that one, or note on that one. Turtrin Shrek? Question mark? Question mark, maybe shrug? <laughs> um, Liam, you should ask Cal his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to... Uh, I will... Like, no context, just... Hey, Cal, what's your birthday? Okay. You send out that message. 
no response comes anytime soon. Arak, is there anybody else we should be asking their birthday? You, uh, Arak, you are looking at this. Um, you're trying to see what they're seeing, but you just see numbers. <laughs> There's a lot of numbers here. <laughs> There, there is. There is a lot of numbers. What's the number? What's the total sum if I add them all together? Uh, so you're gonna make me do that math right now. <laughs> it doesn't have to be right now if you don't want to do it, or if you want to assure me that that is it is information. it is over <laughs> it it is over uh right now it looks like it's over probably about a thousand. Maybe fifteen hundred. Yeah, I'm actually interested in the digit number. You're like you're interested in ex exact exactly. You don't have to tell me right now. You can like <laughs> tomorrow or something. Just message me what it is. Oh my gosh! Okay. You make me do oh, all that work. <laughs> I mean, you could send me a list of all the numbers. I can do it. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Okay, well, don't want to uh, give us unrestricted access to a list of all the numbers. <laughs> the oh, numbers no. that we have in my brain. Uh, Fagin is afraid that you'll take ownership of all the numbers. <laughs> I'm going to copyright them all. All the numbers. All the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Even the in-between numbers. Then you can uh, get royalties every time they uh, roll. I would like a lore yeah. check from Sai. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> 19, nice. nice. You look and you see a specific, you see a specific date on there that is a, uh, is actually a big thing that, ha it was a big event that occurred um, about 12 cycles ago or so. Um, it is known as the Great Siege. And now you're now things are gonna start piecing together a little bit as you like start to realize something like you had read about the Great Siege inside the archives when you were studying like all you could as an archivist um, before you went and got uh, transferred to Turthrin Trek. But the Great Siege was this big event where uh, there was a counter command base that was planning a huge uh, basically insurrection well they're, they're already uh, in, insurrected in, in, like insurrectionists but but they had a secret base on the harbor and they were and they were reportedly planning a huge uh, coup and inside the Senate to take down everything, but Corps Command figured this out and uh, laid siege upon their, upon their base, literally incinerating it. You remember this, and this is the date that is listed here. Hmm. Okay. So that's another date, maybe. I mean, it's a bit of an out. Well, I guess Turth, maybe. Kind of an outlier. I don't think we have enough information to piece yeah, everything together. I'm hoping that um, Dr. Cal would have some context for these numbers. A rock. Yes. You suddenly begin dark to feel a darkness. Uh, someone's getting lonely again. <laughs> you look back and you see a shadow kind of turn around the corner. 
from outside the cockpit. Hmm. What do you do? Uh, I guess he gets up and gets ready for whatever it is that the shadow is going to do. Okay. Time to hallucinate again. Vividly. You look around and you see the shadow goes into the room on the left there. goes you see the shadow kind of right by the viewer area where you can see outside into space mm. as you go up to it you hear aren't you Curious one. Rock is somewhat surprised. It's not the same premise he was expecting. Hmm. Are you looking for something? Someone. Marmaduke. Marmaduke 9. <laughs> I don't like that one. Perhaps you need to look deeper. As this happens, a rock, I need you to roll me an endurance check. Here goes part two. 18 to 29. Ah, 21. Okay. That's pretty good. Fine. I always tried the numbers that didn't work. You take 14 points to your stamina. Oh, take what to my stamina? 14 points to your stamina. Oh, 14. Okay, yikes. Yeah, that's not as much as it would have been. <laughs> as you you feel a, a strain on your mm. chest. You'll probably need to get deeper than you've ever gone before, a rock of a demon. If you really want to understand what it is Eve Moore is doing here, how do I do that? Suffer. Turn from her. For she is in darkness. And you see the shadow. It, it almost looks like an arm reaches out and presses onto your chest. I'd like you to roll me another endurance check. Uh, da, da, da. Endurance. <laughs> Mm. Fuck. That was a one. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Rock, what's your energy? Um, energy 52. Okay, you, uh, you might survive. You might. Oh. That's, uh, encouraging. Uh, 
44 points to your energy. Oof. Oh, that's stamina. Oh, I didn't rename it, that's why. <sighs> there we go. As this happens, you <gasps> you you collapse to the ground, you you uh you thump. I'd like uh Sai and Liam to roll me a perception check. Perception oh dang it. First impersonate. Mm -hmm. check. You try to trick yourself into disbelieving. Sai, you hear a thump inside the other room. Liam, I need you to take over piloting for a hot second. Uh, I heard a noise in a rock's usually a pretty, pretty silent fella. And uh, I... Okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Make sure he's all right. A rock. Into the other room. A rock, you look down at this well you, you you look down at your at your chest and you see it you can see this this black mark growing on your heart and you see it spreading slowly and as it spreads you hear this shadow say oh great one of them is coming. You need to get away from them when you can. They are not good for her. Don't you understand, Orok? And you hear a door slide open. Sigh. You enter inside and you see Orok on one knee holding onto his chest. Orok, are, are you alright? Did something happen no and yes turns around <laughs> hold his chest eventually a rock you'll need to choose whose side you are on and then you feel the presence <laughs> fade away As the two of you are inside there, we're going to end the session there. <laughs> oh man, I, I, I was getting messages from um, Dr. Cal. You were? <laughs> <laughs> he, sa he said, I, uh, I just need 10 minutes to get, out, get, a, get on a good mic. <laughs> No, no, he, he can't, he can't message you right now. He wouldn't even be able to message with you right now with what he's going okay. through. So it wouldn't matter. He can come in here all he wants, but it's not going to happen. Lore master blocks it. Yeah, no. sorry, sorry. <laughs> but hey, the ne next week, ma next week, yeah. maybe, a maybe, okay? Maybe. If he solves it. Yeah. If he survives. If if he survives his next situation that he's going through. Yeah, he, 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 he said, uh, um, I almost joined the channel not thinking about the live stream just to ask you what the fuck you meant. <laughs> uh, it's gonna I be... just messaged him, I need those questions answered ASAP. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, that, that, was, that was a very entertaining... Very uh, confuddling mystery behind what the heck all these numbers mean. Yeah, it is. And what, uh, what 119 is trying to relay to the creator. Yeah. Um, let me see. I need to see how much Marmaduke 9 has been getting all his CP and stuff. And, you know. <laughs> uh... So give me a second. I'm going to check something. You guys can go ahead and talk. Talk amongst yourself. <laughs> um, Liam, are we, are we getting food after? Are we, I suppose I... we could. I mean, I yes. do want... Food. Yums. Get food. Mm. I just had a chocolate bar. That's it. Oh. <laughs> I make it yeah, I had ramen noodles. 
Ooh, yummy. Yummy like ramen. Drink. I had a sandwich. But now I'm hungry mm. again. So we might, uh, Oscar and I might go get some ice cream. Because <laughs> we get ice cream. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Are you paying Oscar in ice cream? <laughs> No, I'm actually not. <laughs> don't give don't give him ideas. <laughs> Oscar is um is under internship. He's he's gonna be uh he's gonna be a very important character soon. Sooner rather than later. I mean Soon TM. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but first we gotta yeah, get through this uh this that situation and Iraq. Rock, a lot of things are going to start coming at you. So get ready for that. <laughs> yeah, including Eldritch Abominations, apparently. Yeah. That was one that you haven't met yet. Oh, actually, I, you might have met him once. Once, maybe. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to listen back on everything. Bad touch. Um, but yes, thank you all for listening, watching, subscribing if you are subscribed. Um, please go like, share, follow every, like the podcast podcast the doctor series is, is going to be ramping up like crazy um oh it is ramping up like crazy you should i think by the time that this episode is out entry 26 of the doctor is out but we will see it may be coming out the next day but yeah um and yeah if uh, if death comes to you may you be reborn in power bye guys yeah.